Hey everybody, my name is Ben Gramico. I'm from InterNACHI, and every month we do free live webinars for home inspectors. And sometimes I'm teaching, sometimes we have a special guest, and uh, today we have a special guest, and we're gonna talk about body cameras. But before we have our special guest uh, present, um, I wanted to tell you that we are having a National Home Inspector Convention, the biggest convention for home inspectors, in Southern California. And it's next year, um, 2020, October um, 15 to 17 in Southern California. And Southern California in October is really nice. It's about 75 degrees, the sun is out, so it's gonna be a really great place. And it's, um, let's see, it's about 20, 30 minutes um, outside of LA. And there's six flags, there's the Disney thing, and there's the beach, and it's gonna be really great. Um, and let's see, a couple of years ago, we were in Atlantic City for a National Home Inspector Convention. Big uh, event there, over a thousand people. Um, this time, uh, in 2019, we had a, an inspector fair. It's more of a, like a family-friendly kind of carnival games and things like that. That was a lot of fun too. And then, um, but this one, we went all out and got a huge, um, traditional convention site and this place is a monster of a site so we're going to have a lot of vendors the best vendors in the inspection industry and a lot of attendees we're going to have breakfast coffee snacks lunch so food is on us and there's going to be an opening night reception big keynote and it's going to be a lot of fun so uh, save the date october 15 to 17 2020 southern california national home inspector convention uh, so you're on you're on Nachi TV, N A C H I dot TV, or you could be watching this on YouTube or Facebook. But if you wanted to register for a free live webinar, go to N A C H I dot TV and click the registration button for free. And if you can't make it to the webinar, that's okay. Register anyways, and I'll send you the link to the video recording because we record all of the webinars. Today we have my buddy Lee Hamilton from Road Scan Canada. He's going to talk about body cameras for home inspectors. Is that right, Lee? Yeah, absolutely. All right, so I'm gonna click a button over here and give you control so that we can enjoy your presentation. And if you have any questions for Lee during the presentation or afterwards, his contact information will be at the end of the presentation. And uh, you have a chat uh, field so you can chat or text your question and I'll interrupt Lee with your question. If you're on Facebook, um, feel free to ask questions there. So Lee, what are we gonna talk about? Yeah, today we're gonna be talking about uh, the body cameras and just how we can assist you, um, the home inspector, in speeding up the process and then providing that accuracy and also helping you to help others be more accountable when you are at your inspections. Um, you know, it's, well, first of all, thank you very much, uh, Ben, for allowing me this time to be able to speak with everybody so that the word can get out there. And realistically, yeah, it, it is to help uh, home inspectors. So I'll, I'll just jump right in because this way everybody can sort of understand, you know, my background and where I'm coming from. So I was in the uh, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Um, I, I never rode a horse, but uh, I spent 25 years in the police force. Uh, I was predominantly in traffic section or highway patrol, but it, most of that was spent as a collision reconstruction, so a forensic collision reconstruction expert. And wh why I mention that is I had to produce, uh, I'd go to scenes and I had to produce an expert technical report to court that made sure that um, everything was documented properly and presented in such a way that people could understand it. So I look at that and I think, well, you know, home inspection really isn't that much different, save for the fact that, you know, the home is not a disaster zone, although some people would disagree with me because some of the homes can be disasters and I understand that, but it's not a, a tragic scene where, you know, there's been a serious injury or fatality, but at the end of the day, you're still producing an expert technical report. Would you agree with me on that, Ben? Absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, to that end, you know, what is the real difference then is just, you know, the report itself. If I had had a body camera while I was doing my job uh, at my crash scenes, I would have made my life a lot easier. 
than trying to take 100, 300 photos and hope that I got everything in there that I needed to get in there. And that is one of the issues that I wanted to talk about today is just, you know, hoping that you got everything. Um, so yeah, so that was, you know, most of my background. I'm sure some of you have heard of Whistler. That's where this photo was taken. Um, that's where the Olympics were for Vancouver Whistler when it was held in Canada in 2010. So I had a lot of fun there, but uh, yeah, 25 years was enough and it was time to move on. Now I've now I've started my, my business five years ago with the, the body cams, which has uh, really taken off with the home inspector uh, industry. And again, I'll go through, you know, the, the rationale why. But I mean, here are your roles, you know, that essentially the way I look at it is that, that you guys are hired by a client, whether that be a, a, an agent or a home buyer. You're performing the inspection and then you produce your expert report. The issues that you have is that, you know, from compared to a lot of industries that you guys conduct a lot of inspections uh, per year, you know, on average, more than any other inspection agency out there, which means that you're open to more complaints. And ultimately, what do people want? They just want money. They're not there to mar your character. They're not there to, you know, just go after your company itself or, your, or you. They just want money. Simple as that. So when you're doing uh, your inspections, you know, the question is what looks the best? When I went to court, you know, uh, I could show up to, uh, to court and if I just showed up to the court or if I just showed up to a scene, I'll say, let's go to a crash scene here for me. You know, I could show up, that's great. But if I showed up and then I produced notes, oh, that's pretty good. But then if I showed up and did notes in a report, well, we're getting better, right? notes, report, photos, and then notes, report, photos, and video. And ultimately, which one adds the most confidence in the product that's being presented? I know that if I went to court and I had number four with notes, report, photos, and video, I have now presented the most evidence or information to the court. But in this case here, you would be providing the most evidence or information to the home buyer or the agent. Now the video doesn't mean that you have to produce the video, but the video is there for you know, your reference and or anybody else's reference that wishes to have it. But at the very least, you're gonna have your notes, report, and photos. Now the video is nice because you can actually stop it and take photos from your screen. Again, I'll get into that uh, a little bit, uh, just a little bit later here, but it, uh, it's value added. Um, that most inspectors won't have, in which case, right, then it gives you that competitive edge. And that's ultimately what you're also looking for is that you're trying to get a competitive edge. You know, how do you get um, more inspections in a year? And how do you make it so that people want you as their inspector? And that's you know, you're, you're always trying to figure that out. I mean, that's, that's a businessman uh, or business person, I should say, um, is that we're, we're always trying to move ahead and, and you know, be new, be, uh, be current. And that's where the video component really comes into play, right? The body camera is about protection. Uh, it protects, you know, a multitude of people, but ultimately, you know, you want to make sure that it's protecting you because you only get one shot at this. You're not able to go back into the house after and go, oh, I forgot this. So you want to make sure that you've recorded absolutely everything while you're in there. Again, I go back to the crash scenes. Uh, to give you an example, I had a crash scene where a flagger was killed by a vehicle uh, on the roadway, obviously. But the very next day when I went back, the road had been paved over. I had nothing, so I had to make sure that I had everything at that particular time. Well, it's no different for you. Um, you know, you need to get everything on the first go. So you're protecting yourself, you know, first and foremost, from anything that's going on in the house, you know, uh, demonstrating that, hey, I, you know, didn't go through the, the floor or whatever or the ceiling, right? But you're also protecting a realtor. And the realtor is important because 
they're probably, and correct me if I'm wrong here, Ben, are they the ones that typically hire you? Nope, they'll refer work to you. Okay. All right, it's so the then it's the home buyer. Right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right, so you're also protecting landlord, tenant, the borrower, lender, asset manager, anybody else, and the buyer, right? Yep. The seller, obviously, I, I think is the one that's sort of left out of all of this, but having said that, they're also being protected to some degree that the buyer can't come back with a false accusation against the seller. Would that be fair as well, Ben? Yeah, also, um, we just had a, a pit bull attack on a home inspector who was wearing a body camera, um, yeah. and there was no dispute because uh, the home inspector uh, shared just a clip of the interaction between he and the dog, and uh, everything was raw, resolved real quick. Real quick, yeah. And then that just speeds up any process whatsoever, right? But if you can protect everybody here, then that goes back to that referral process where they're going to say, hey, I really like the fact that, you know, in this situation here, it was just dealt with, you know, immediately, which just resolves any issue for, you know, everybody that's on this list. And anytime that you can make life easier for other people, including yourself, they are certainly going to be coming back to you and or referring you. So who's there for you? Like who is actually there for you? Like in the case of that pit bull attack, right? Who is there for that home inspector? Well, insurance could be there because, you know, uh, maybe a, the bite itself, but let's get away from the dog for a sec. If there's an issue with the, the inspection, right? Insurance is gonna be there for you, associations, maybe other employees, coworkers, spouse, you know, but, you know, obviously lawyers will always be there for you. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's you. You are the only one that is there for you to be able to protect you. After that, you are helping and assisting in protecting others. But ultimately, you're there to protect you. The body cam is there to protect you. So I can't stress that enough, which is why, you know, realistically, a, a home inspector should be wearing those things for, again, I, I hadn't even thought about the dog before, but there's a situation that just sort of literally comes right out of nowhere, you know, and, and unexpectedly. So, you know, what are the reasons for the complaints, right? Uh, you know, when people look at the reports, they say, well, you know, you left something out, you know, uh, didn't see it, couldn't see it, you didn't document it. You know, you can't remember seeing it as a home inspector, or it was hard to, you know, review just from your notes because, we all know that our handwriting isn't the greatest anymore or ever really at the end of the day. But there's times when I look at my notes and I think, oh, okay, what was I trying to say there? You know, and that is a, a bit of an issue, especially if you're trying to then put that into context with your report, right? So their motivation and what do they want? Again, money, 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 money. That's it. They're always looking for money. So the body-worn cameras, right, they're going to offer you the protection. I consider it a behavioral modification tool. That's also the police side of me. But realistically, you know, when you're starting to deal with people at a home right at the beginning of the onset of that inspection, and if they know that they're being recorded or the place is being recorded, it changes everything so that you can get away from any arguments. You can get away from anything that, you know, any discussion, uh, disputes i'll say later on you know you can you're setting the tone that they understand that their their place is being recorded and it will take away right at the onset of any possibility of them wanting to complain that you did something in their home to try and get money so it just changes their their whole behavior that's going back to holding others accountable and then it increases your valuable time so the time that it takes for you to inspect a home if it could be decreased, then I think that that's a, a, a you know a large positive component of the body camera itself. And again, I'll, I'll talk about that in a few few more minutes. Um, and it's great for training and review for new employees. It's so hard when you are a, a multi firm to you know really know what your new employee is doing. 
if they had the body cam on, then you could review what's going on and or if there's an issue, uh, a complaint about your body, you know, your, uh, your employee, then you'd be able to review this data and go, okay, well, you know what, I don't see it. And or even the best thing is, is that they, you could say, oh, okay, my employee did that, well, let me check their video. Normally that phone call goes away very quickly. So the body-worn cameras will save you money, increase your efficiency, right? Um, reduce complaints, eliminate those discussion issues. It'll allow you to see in dark areas. You don't miss anything. I'm just gonna stop for one sec here. Actually, Ben, I'm just gonna go back. Okay, yep. so the saving money, so increase efficiency. A lot of people say, well, how does that, how does that work? When you show up and you take your body cam, which doubles as a dash cam, that's one of the things that our, our cameras do, is they double as a dash cam. So you take it out of the base off your dash, you put it on your body, and you start walking around. Well, immediately you have, you know, uh, you're gaining uh, valuable insight as to what the home looks like without having to take 100 photos of the home outside. So you can do, however your process is, you could speed that up just a bit by walking with the camera. You know, taking your notes, you can narrate as well, because our cameras always have audio on. So that assists you in your efficiency as well for doing your report. So should you ever have to go back, you can review it, you can listen to it, you know, you can just refresh your memory as to what it was that particular time, you know, that you needed to document something. The other nice thing, it's that you're hands-free. So you're still able to take your notes, you know, uh, while, while you're walking around. Uh, you're still able to enter whatever it is into your software program on your iPad. Um, you know, whether you, you know, like you're never gonna get away from your report. That's not what I'm saying. You're just trying to add on to the report. So when you go into a room that has nothing, Ben, do you take photos of nothing? No, right? You're just walking into a room and you want to know that there's nothing going on in that room, you know, that piques your attention as, a, as an inspector. But how do you say that you went into the room? You can just tick a box in, yeah, I went into the room, which is great, you know, like that's predominantly what we're doing. But the age of our, I mean, there's no other way to put it. The age of millennials is all about video. Uh, they've grown up in video. They want video. They don't want paper. Uh, everything needs, should and needs to be electronic for them. Um, but they literally are, are really, sometimes they, they doubt a lot because they haven't seen that video and that, because that's what they're used to. Whereas if you have that video of walking into the room, doing a quick, you know, a, a turn, you could demonstrate, hey, I was in the room and there was nothing to note in this room. And again, that's just in turn and out. So you're not trying to look too, too crazy. You know I mean? You're still inspecting the room, but you don't have to make any real hard documentation about it. Does that make sense, Ben? Yeah. Um, so, you know, I encourage inspectors to snap a bunch of pictures, even if it's not really part of the inspection process, just to record right. and document the um, personal items that were in the way of the inspection or the present condition of the home, or if it was, um, you know, things were off or on um, or covered up. Um, yeah, to document, you know, the, the environment in one swoop with a video cam uh, is probably the best thing. Right, because then it does reduce the number of photos that you have to take, and every time that you're taking a photo, that takes time, and if you can reduce your time in taking photos, and even if you could go from 200 photos to 100 photos, just think of the amount of time that it's taken to you know, take those 200, now you've just reduced it by half, right? So if you can speed up a process by 10, 15 minutes, you know, by the end of the week, if you've increased your valuable time by, you know, an hour, well then eventually you're going to get it even quicker. So by the end of the month, maybe you are able to actually have more time to be able to add in another inspection or two. And if you were able to add another 12 inspections in a year, well, that's, you know, that's fairly good coin uh, coming your way. 
And there's really no reason to not be able to do that because this will make you more efficient. Um, going back to you know documenting what, what the house looks like upon arrival, uh, there have been, I know that some of the inspectors, I so I've been doing this, like I say, for five years. My initial uh, introduction was through a Canadian home inspector who I worked with in the RCMP, who suggested that I get a hold of Nick, who then put, passed me over to Nikolai. So we do sell the cameras uh, through home, uh, Inspector Outlet. And through that, I was invited to Atlantic City. So Atlantic City was sort of my first introduction to home inspectors uh, through Inanachi. Um, and it was a lot of good discussions. And since then, I've, I've, I mean, there's been a lot of sales discussions and a lot of success stories have, have come my way. Um, one of them recently was that there was $10,000 on a bed. And, I, you know, I think, wow, that's pretty odd. But the more inspectors that I talked to, the more they said, yeah, there's typically a lot of money lying around somewhere. So he was able to walk in. He, you know, immediately verbalized what was going on. He put his hands in front of the camera so that they, you know, he could say, I'm walking around in the room and you can see my hands and I haven't touched anything. So that's an easy way to protect himself because if he walked in and he had just the camera, then he's taking photos, but then there could be the question, I'm not saying that there would be, but there could be the question of, you know, maybe there's $10 missing, maybe there's a thousand dollars missing. But in this case here, because he had his hands and his video, there was zero issue. Everybody just went, yep, no, nope, we get it. And that was it. It was over and done with, right? Now he just solved, he, he went forward and solved the issue before it became an issue, right? So he was proactive instead of reactive. So it's the same thing, you know, um, for, you know, again, when you, when you arrive, you're able to document what the place looked like, uh, which is, which is, Arguably, I think one of the most important things when you first arrive. I don't know, Ben. Does, does that make sense? Well, for sure. Yep. And you know, yeah. um, people accuse uh, um, home inspectors of breaking things, and so the video can help with that. Moving things that weren't put back that could right. help with that. Um, stealing, especially the money. Um, right. We're getting into personal items like a closet or something. Um, right. Sometimes uh, you spill something or someone else uh, at your inspection has spilled something or put a foot mark on the carpeting and that could help that. Um, um, leaving something on like an oven or leaving something off like a thermostat, um, a video recording can help that. And I like th that it um, records audio as well. So if you have right. an absent client, um, say in a different state or province, and they can't make it to the inspection, you can actually um, talk to them essentially through this video as you proceed through the the home inspection itself with this um body cam but john wants to just jump ahead to the he's already convinced so on facebook john says is there an 800 number coming soon so i can order i don't have all day <laughs> he can go through inspector outlet how's that sound yeah if he goes just... through inspector outlet, then uh nikolai would be able to answer that one and if he gives the code of RSC Natch TV, right, then he can get a free mini cam as well. And that code again is? It's RSC, so Road Scan Canada, right, and then Natch TV. Nice. Yeah, hey. that way he can get himself a, a free mini cam to go with that. Uh, uh, that's normally $50. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, so let's see, so we're 25 he, minutes in. Yeah, so uh, again, while we're having this discussion, really, it it doesn't take long to figure out that, hey, this is what I need to be able to get rid of these issues. You know, one of the other issues that I've heard is that they have a discussion with one spouse who then has a discussion with their spouse who then comes back and says, why did you tell her that or him that, right? So having that documentation of the audio makes it super easy as well, where, where you could provide it to the other spouse to say, well, this is what we discussed, right? So he, what you said, and what they heard are two different things than what they heard and what they said to somebody else is a different thing. And that could be the, to the realtor even. And then the realtor comes back. Um, you know, uh, I'm sure, well, you know Jim Crum. Yes. So Jim was wearing our body camera when I guess a particular client ripped down blinds and put a hole in the wall and said, you owe me money. Jim didn't say anything. This guy goes to his realtor, realtor calls Jim and says, what's going on? Jim sends a clip of the video. 
conversation is done. Yep. Right. So as soon as you can reduce any complaints, any conversations, you know, most of them are not going to be legitimate. So you're going to be talking to them. Well, all of those conversations take time and that time is very, very valuable. So if you can get rid of that, then you're making yourself more efficient again, right? It just gets rid of anything to do with time, 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 time. You want the time to make money and do inspections as opposed to having to deal with all these other issues. So, all right, the camera will also be able to see in dark areas, right? You don't miss anything, you're hands free, right? And then you can also review it right there at your location on the back. Uh, there is a two inch screen. Um, so it's it's infrared, right? Is that what you're saying? Uh, so in the dark areas, infrared, so here in Canada, I would call it infrared. Down there, you might call it night vision. Infrared yeah. normally means that there's a thermal component to it. You know, like you can see heat. That's not what this is. So it's yeah. not a thermal imager, right? It's not night vision per se because it's not green. So uh, I'll show you a sure. video here coming up okay. as to what it is that I'm talking about, right? So... How am I for time there, Ben? Um, we're 30 minutes in. You've got uh, 15 minutes left. Okay. So essentially, we're offering that insurance component for you because you're protecting yourself, right? You can document everything. The other nice thing is that you can capture the sounds because if you're just taking photos, you're not going to be able to get a, you know an odd sound from a furnace or from a fan or from the faucet, the toilets, you know, floors, whatever it is. You're able to capture all those sounds, right? It's difficult to do it without. Um, with it or with just the camera uh movements again faucets toilets uh doors windows absolutely anything i have video for all of this on my website i also have if you go to youtube and you type in roadscan canada you're going to see a, a bunch of videos as well uh for that so they're all simple videos but they're essential videos because a lot of people say oh you left my window open now i got rain in the house no i didn't leave the window open you know, oh, you left the door open and let my cat out. No, I never, I never let the cat out. The cat out was there when I left. You know what I mean? Like, you're able to just demonstrate everything. Um, and, you know, ultimately, you're establishing your, your, your confidence with your clients. But going back to what you were saying earlier, Ben, you know, like, you can prove that you didn't do something or that you did do something. And I think that that's really important to be able to demonstrate. You know, I, either that you went into the room or you did check something or you couldn't check something because... You know, the freezer was in the way. How would you expect me to get in behind there, right? Or have a couch. I'm not moving a couch or the freezer because what if it breaks? Then I'm being held liable for it. So you're able to document that, but you're also able to use your verbal component to be able to document that. And I think that that's a really, really strong component to the body cam is, is being able to articulate while you're there what you see and what you can and can't do. So, again... Uh, even just boot marks, that was the other thing. People have complained that there were boot marks, and it's like, well, there are other contractors coming in after, you know, just just all, all the silly stuff that people just want money for. So here um, are there some photos, right? But these are photos with the body cam during video mode. So you don't have to stop your video to take photos. You can keep going along and take your photos, no problem. Uh, House of Horrors is, I'm pretty sure, all of these, because I was there. Um, yep, looks like it. June. Yeah. So, you know, again, this is from the body camera itself. You can see how close you can get. You can see how you can read everything on the energy guide. You can see the crack that's, so the bottom left one, you can see that crack in the fireplace, and that's with the night vision component. So you see how you can see that really well, even though it's super dark in it. Everything is time and date stamped uh, and low light. Now, along with the time and date stamp, there's GPS with the body camera, which can also be used for review. And it's nice to have, because then you can also, when you're doing your files, you'll know which file goes attached to which house because you have the GPS component to it. So, and you're also able to review it if you're using it as a dash cam, then you can also get speed from it. So it just has that little added bonus so that you know, should there be a crash, you can demonstrate that it wasn't your fault because we all know that witnesses are super reliable. That's a different discussion for a different time because that's my other job <laughs> is I do private consultation for insurance and lawyers for uh, to be an expert in court for crashes. But 
All right, so here is uh, pictures that are day, you know, without your night vision, and then your night vision. And you can see that clearly you can see a lot farther into the cat or the photo on the right than you can on the left. Yep. Right. So if you had your flashlight, you'd have one hand with the flashlight, one hand with the camera. Here, you just have one hand with the camera, and or this one was actually video. I paused and I took a screenshot. So I didn't even have to take a photo of it. I just paused it, took a screenshot, and I could slide that into my software program or my report, no problem. And you can see just the definition itself. You know, the resolution can go up to uh, 1440p, which is now basically, well, it's higher than super high uh, definition. So 1080 is typically what you're your TV is at 1296 is super full HD, and then you're now we're into 1440. So it's it's getting progressively uh, better as, as we go along. So again, high resolution, easy to see. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So then this is the video. Uh, okay, this is my video. Uh, of course, why 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 not, right? <laughs> it's all right. I can't, get, I can't get my mouse to show up anywhere. Oh, there we go. There it is. There it is. Okay, so this is video that goes, it's in my uh, furnace room, and you can see it lights out, no windows. It goes, switches right over. You can see absolutely everything. Then the light comes back on, and you can see how it just automatically switches. So you don't have to do anything with that, right? That's what I like. Hands free. So time is money, and if you're not, you know, uh, essentially, you know, what's your time worth? But if you're not making money, guess what? You're not making money. So at any time that you're dealing with the crap that's not associated to uh, inspecting and making money, then, you know, what's your time worth? Like, you are paying out at the end of the day. You're not making money. But if you got rid of all that, all those complaints, all those discussions even you know boom that stuff goes away i'm just reminded uh, of the conversation that i had with one of the other guys at your conference there um in longmont this year is that one of the inspectors came right up to me and says i have to buy this because i just paid eleven hundred dollars for a garage door so when you think about a garage door you're not going to take photos you're going to you know get the garage door open and you're not going to take photos as the garage door is opening because it just looks like stills but what happened with them was the door opened, no problem. But when we went to close it, the door fell apart on him. He's like, I didn't do that. Right? right. Another person said it worked just fine. And the next day they're saying, oh, it doesn't work anymore. Well, how do you prove this? Right. So in a situation like that, you could actually, you know, turn the garage door on, you know, or open it, close it. You could even open it, you know, or as it's closing, trip the, uh, the cat's eyes so that you know that it's working properly. Those are the easy things to be able to demonstrate. Right. But it comes back to time is money. Right. And you want to be able to speed up the process. You want to get rid of all those other issues and you want to be able to ultimately have more inspections. And that's how the camera, even though, you know, the camera is 400 and some odd dollars, it's going to pay for itself very quickly. And you're going to make money on top of that. So data storage, this is one of the things I think, Ben, that we were talking about just before. Yeah. You know, we do have data storage available. Super easy to use. Plug it here. Our camera is the thumb drive. USB uh, connects to the camera, and you can uh, connect to our website portal uh, and upload the data. That's it. If you need it, you still have access to it. You can access it anywhere. So if you have a multi-company, you know, I've, I've been talking to one of the guys who's based out of Washington, but he's got 250 employees around the country. Well, you know, somebody in Florida can upload the data if there's an issue. This guy can then just immediately go to the video. He doesn't have to call anybody. He doesn't have to wait three hours, you know, like anything like that. Um, but this is the easiest way to be able to do it. You don't need to have terabytes, you know, of uh, uh, external hardware sitting around. I mean, if there was a fire, all of that stuff would go up in flames. Uh, this way it is sitting in the cloud. It's redundant, so you know that it's backed up. Uh, we won't lose your product or your, your inspections, you can hold it for however long you want. You dictate what you want to do with it, and we don't have access to it. 
So it's held in the US and Canada. So it's, it covers off both. So, um, hey Lee. Yeah. John on Facebook asks, where on the body is the camera worn? Is there a chest strap? What if he's there, in a crawl space? Right. So there is a chest strap. Absolutely. So the nice thing about the chest strap is that if you go into the crawl space, you're able to adjust your chest strap and your camera so that it can face absolutely 100% forward. So yeah. you're on your belly, that camera is still facing forward 100%. So there's the chest strap, then there's also the mini cam that can, uh, well, especially if you use the code, you can get the mini cam for free. Um, and that mini cam, you know, worst case scenario as you're crawling through, uh, that crawl space, you can use the mini cam to be able to direct, you know, where your eyes want to go because it's an extension of the camera itself. It's not a camera, but it's just extending where the range of the camera itself, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um, the other nice thing about that is that it also has automatic IR and you know, that even just the crawl space, if you're in an area that you can't see on the top of shelf, you might need a ladder. Well, if you're able to use your, uh, mini cam to be able to get up there then you can look at the back of your camera and see where that mini cam is and what it's pointing at and if you need to take a photo you can or you can put it into a hard spot you know or even be able to look in behind hot water tanks furnaces you know it, it's a really valuable tool to be able to have that mini cam but yeah there is a chest harness for sure if you go on the website you'll be able to see that uh, that I do have that and inspector outlet should have them as well we can always get them to you. So, so yeah. So you have, you have a, a few minutes left. Okay. Um, yeah. I think ultimately, you know, at the end of the day, the body cameras are there to protect you. They're able to assist you with your note taking. They're able to assist you with reviewing. And they're there to make your life easier and reduce the amount of time that you spend on your inspections and increase the number of inspections that you have at the end of the year. So you should be able to make money with this body camera. And as one of the inspectors literally came right up to me again in long run and he said, you know, it's pretty simple. If you want to get sued, don't use your body camera. <laughs> like that's, you know, you guys are in the most litigious industry on the face of the earth, if you ask me. Right? Everybody wants something, so why not just protect yourself from it for an easy investment? You know, uh, if if it's you know, uh, again, I I don't remember all my prices, <laughs> but let's say it's four hundred seventy-five dollars, right? Then, you know, how many inspections do most of them do? You're looking at essentially about a dollar, dollar fifty of insurance per inspection, and I don't know what your insurance is normally. Right, but it's in your hands and not in insurance hands, where you have to go to somebody and waste all that time again. Right, so that's the easiest thing. So this is the information that I have. Um, any more information, you go to our website, roadscancanada.ca. You can email me at lee at roadscancanada.ca. You can phone me. You can text me. I'm available all the time. I'm the owner of this uh, company, um, so you can always get a hold of me. Inspector Outlet has our products as well. Uh, Nikolai would probably be able to answer some questions, or Heidi, I'm not sure, or they'll direct the information back to me. So, That's right. Yeah. I don't know if there's any more questions. Uh, I don't see any more questions on okay. GoToWebinar or Facebook, so okay. I think that's it, Lee. I okay. want to thank you very much for spending some time with us and uh, telling us about um, your body camera and uh, I really appreciate the the code uh, also so um, if there are any questions everybody just reach out to Lee and uh, find your body camera um, from inspector outlet um, I think that's it Lee so thank you so much for well, your time thank you very much I really appreciate it and uh, I'm hoping that everybody can see the value in it and you know go from there all right buddy I'll talk to you later all right Bye, everybody Okay, have a good one. Thank you, everybody. Bye.